Hey, welcome to our episode of Jad's Beer Reviews. So we got a special beer tonight. This is a very low alcohol beer. This is called La Petite Prince Farmhouse Table Beer from Jester King, right of Austin, Texas. And look at this ABV, 2.9. Now that is light, I would say. Well, this can is a little old. It's like six months old, over six months old. It was from late April of this year. All right, so I pour it into my... Spiegel lager glass. I'm, I feel like I haven't used this in a while. It kind of looks like a lager. It is that pale straw color. It's like even lighter than Bud Light. It is a little hazy. We get a huge dish soap suds kind of foam. It took, me, it took a while for it to settle down. Like now you can see it's, um, sorry, the light's kind of blowing out, but it has like those like douche, dish, uh, dish soap suds. Uh, you tend to get this kind of foam with a lot of Brett beers. I will say it does have, I don't know if they use Brett in this or what, but um, it does have like a bit of a Brett kind of character to it. I get like green apple, which is like usually bad, but it, it's like good in this, or maybe like green pear is more appropriate. Yeah, like a, a kind of farmhouse kind of quality to, or countryside quality. A little citrusy, a little like kind of like green grape, green pear, something like that. Uh, probably like Pilsner Roll or something. It just smells, it smells like super light. So let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Hmm. Wow. That is, that is pretty tart for such a light beer. So, um, I would say that the flavor is surprisingly fruity it has like almost like a lemonade kind of quality to it i think because like it has like a a fruity essence i would probably say like there's slight citrus in there but again it's more like green fruit flavored and then you're getting a, a tartness um like and on the crest and like into the aftertaste so it finishes very dry yeah maybe like a tad a slight f little bit of sourness in there again kind of reminiscent of like lemonade like the sourness, the tartness. It doesn't taste like lemons, I will say. It's kind of like reminiscent of like that kind of uh, drinking experience. By the way, I have the uh, Jester King website up here. Let me pull this up real quick. So it says, we sought to make a low alcohol beer that's dry, drinkable, refreshing, crisp, hoppy, with a little bit of beguiling yeast character that only wild fermentation with native yeast can create. Okay, I get, yeah. It's probably the favorite beer that we make. Yeah, for only 2.9%, this has like a ton of flavor. And what's even more impressive is that this can is, you know, over six months old. This was canned in April. I think, uh, I saw Darwin review this. He called it a world-class, you know, table beer. I, I I mean, I don't really have like a whole frame of reference, but um, any beer that's like under 4.5% is like extremely rare to find in bottles or cans. And uh, like this would be, I'm surprised they don't market this harder in Florida because this would be great, you know, for this, especially that it comes in a full 16 ounce can in a can. You can bring this to the beach, you know, picnics, parks or whatever. Like this doesn't even look like beer. Well, it kind of looks like an energy drink or something, I guess. Like you'd just be drinking this in a park and a cop would be like, what's that? He's like, yeah, it's one of these newfangled energy drinks. <laughs> yeah, I would call that crushable, refreshing, um, nice tartness nice like fruitiness i would probably prefer a little more like actual base malt in there it's like i'm not picking up much like in the way of like any kind of specialty malt like one of my favorite things when i'm drinking especially like german lagers is, like where you can taste like it's like you're like having like a mouthful of like the actual grain this one to me strikes me as like you know probably probably pilsner and maybe like a little bit of wheat but um it's not like a really malt forward beer um not that it really should be i mean it's only 2.9 percent, so you're not really going to pick up like a whole lot of strong flavors i would say like brett is probably the most prominent flavor on here i'm trying to see if i pick up like any um like peppery hops or anything like that i really don't get it i was just on uh, just king's website they, they mentioned that like they're trying to make this like a hoppy beer and maybe it was maybe this is hoppy when it's fresh but again six months old so that being said it has held up remarkably well and it's a good, I'm shooting this in, on the afternoon on a Monday. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's like this is kind of like an ideal time or like, you know, on a Sunday afternoon while you're watching football or something like that. So yeah, for 
the Le Pe La, uh, sorry, La Petite Prince. I really like this one. I'm probably going to go four. I might even go four and a quarter. You know, kind of giving like an extra, you know, extra little brownie points there just for being this tasty. Doesn't, again, for, you know, six-month-old can, I don't get oxidation on this. You know, just so much flavor and such a little alcohol and also like fantastic drinkability and the can. Although I think this was expensive. I think it was like six bucks just for this one can. So that's pretty... That's the only downside, I guess. All right, so I am rambling. If you watch all the way in, you know you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys to tonight beer school. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs>